All praise, praise, honor, and glory go to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and safety to the hopefully elect, all the sincere, the sincere brothers out there pushing the Heavenly Father's word out of a pure heart, in sincerity and in truth. And uh, it's January, uh, January 1st, 2021. All right, so called New Year. So called New Year. And uh, it's just like the days of Noah, man. The same thing going on uh, today is the same thing was going on uh, during the days of Noah, man. Basically, wickedness uh, being increased on the earth, man. And uh, this is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 37. It says, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And for those who don't know, the Son of Man is referring to Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. So it says, verse 38, for as in the days, <clears throat> for as in the, the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving into marriage into the day that Noah entered into the ark. That the day that Noah entered into the ark. And basically that's what's going on um, in this world today, man, on earth today. All right. So it says. Verse 39, and knew not until the flood came, not and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the, co the coming of the Son of Man be. So when the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ return, okay, uh, uh, Yahweh shall return, okay, it's going to be just like the days of Noah, but, but except in this time, it's going to be done with that fire and that brimstone, okay, and not with the floods, man, okay. So the Lord is sending his only begotten son back to destroy all unbelievers, man. Let's read that again. Verse 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. All right. So that's what uh, Yahweh Shai is coming back to do, man. It says took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. So the same thing that was going on in the days of Noah. When the Lord flooded the earth and destroyed them all. It's the same thing that's going on out here today, man. The same thing that's going on out here today. And that's the purpose of the Lord sending Yahweh Shai back. To cleanse this earth, man. Cleanse this earth of, 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 of the uh, you wicked people, man. So uh, let's get another precept. Hebrews 11. <clears throat> Hebrews 11. Hebrews chapter 11. In verse 7, it says, By faith, being warned of God, of the things seen, as yet moved with fear, prepare an ark. And that ark symbolizes uh, the Lord himself, man. All right? Uh, that ark symbolizes Yahweh Shai, man. So it says, prepare the ark to the saving, because that's what Yahweh Shai coming back to do, to save his elect. So it says, to the saving of his house, by the which... He condemned the world. And everybody outside the Lord elect is condemned, man. Okay? Let's prove that. Let's get that John. Let's get that John. And show you the world that the Lord has condemned, man. To, to, uh, to, to wrath and judgment, man. So this is John chapter 3 and verse 17. Despite what you have learned uh, through Christianity and religion that God loves everybody. God so loved the world. All right, but the, the, the world that, that the Lord loves is the believers, man. When you look up that word, uh, world, it says believers only, man. All right? So this is the world that, that the Lord don't love. That's the world he condemns, who's condemned by this word. So this is John 3 and uh, I'm going to start at 17. It says, for the power sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. So that's the world that's not condemned, the believers. But that the world through uh, through him might be saved, might be saved. Verse eighteen: He that believeth on him is not condemned. He that believeth on him is not condemned or offended in this word, man. Like you non-believers, man. All right, everybody outside the believers, that world. All right, starting with the hundred and forty-four thousand in the house, and I'm gonna show you that also in this lesson dealing with Noah, because Noah and his house was saved, man. Okay. So that's the world who's not condemned by this word, man. 
all right? All the non-believers, all right? They the ones who are condemned and offended and who the world eaten because uh, uh, Jesus Christ, man, which is true uh, name is Yahweh Shai, man. So it say he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son. And this is the condemnation that light, that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So everybody outside that world that the Lord love, uh, referring to those believers, they're basically evil, man, considered evil, evil according to uh, the Heavenly Father's word. It says, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, hateth the light. And that's why they're not hasting in the coming of uh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right? They're not anticipating Yahweh Shai coming back. That's why he say he's going to creep up on their ass like a thief, man. Okay? So for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh into the light, lest his deeds shall be reproved. Lest his deeds shall be reproved. All right? Because this word going to condemn you and show you that you're going off, man. All right? So basically, uh, let's go back to that Hebrews 11 and read that again. By faith, by faith in Yahweh Shai, Noah being warned of God, just like uh, uh, you people are being warned uh, through the words that I'm speaking out of the Bible right now. It says, warned of God, things not seen, and that's why they scoff at the, the, the uh, fire and the brimstone, being those volcanoes, man, that the Lord is going to use, all right? That sharp sword, Leviathan, man. That's why they scoff at that, man. So it says, being warned of God, of things not seen, just like during the times of Noah, man. All right? They scoffed at Noah when he told them it was going to rain and flood the earth. All right? So it says, things not seen as yet, move with fear, prepare an ark, prepare the ark to the saving. And we know who the one who's coming back to save us. All right? Uh, Yahweh Shai, man. Remember those that believe, all right, the world that's not condemning what's coming out of the book of his house, <clears throat> art to the saving of his house, and that's who's going to be saved along with uh, the 144,000 and their house, all right, the same way Noah was saved and his house by that which he condemned the world, condemned the world through the, through, through the truth, just like the world is being condemned uh, today through this truth. And became heirs of righteousness. All right. So that's the payoff. That's the reward to be heirs with Yahweh Shah in righteousness, man. Which is by faith. Which is by faith, man. And faith come through this new covenant uh, that Yahweh Shah shed his blood uh, for his elect. For those who he loved. That world who's not condemned in his word. Man. All right. So now let's get another precept. Let's go back to the beginning in Genesis. Genesis 6. Genesis 6 and 11. So this is the uh, beginning. Genesis 6 and 11. I'm going to read down to verse 13. It says, The earth also was corrupt before the power, and the earth was filled with violence. The same way the earth is, uh, the people on the earth today is, man. All right? They're corrupt, and they're filled with violence, man. All right? So this is verse 12. And the power looked upon the earth the same way he's looking upon the earth today, man. And behold, it was corrupt. It was corrupt. Like, uh, like that world who's condemned in this word, they're corrupt. They're considered corrupt according to the scriptures, man. For all flesh had corrupted the way, corrupted his way upon earth. Corrupted the Lord's way upon earth because the Lord gave us laws, statutes, and commandments on how to uh, govern ourselves, man. All right? But through uh, wickedness and through uh, uh, all flesh being corrupt, all right, they distort the way of the Lord, man. Okay, with wickedness, man. So it says, had corrupted the way upon earth. Verse thirteen, and the power said unto Noah, the end of all flesh is come. The end of all flesh is coming. That's why he sent it back, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, to bring an uh, end to all wicked flesh, man, and raise up his elect, man. And then that's when the righteous going to be exalted on earth, man. So it says, and God said unto Noah. The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence, the same way it's filled with violence today, through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. I will destroy them with the earth. So that's the purpose 
of the returning of, uh, of the world ain't really called Jesus Christ. That's why the Heavenly Father sending them back. All right. That's why he's known as the Lord of hosts, man. The Lord of armies, man. All right. So let's get a, another preset. Let's jump down to verse 22. It says, did, uh, thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. So that's what the righteous will be doing. The same thing that Noah will be doing. Keeping the commandments of the Lord, man. All right? Giving them this pure message, this pure word of the Lord, man. All right? So they won't have no excuses uh, uh, in the presence of the Heavenly Father when he send his uh, son, when he come back with that judgment, man. He'll be justified. He'll be justified. Uh, uh, we call it uh, indignation, man. He'll be justified in his actions, man. So I'm going to read that again. Genesis chapter 6 and 22. Thus did Noah, just like the righteous would be doing today, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. All right? He basically warned the people, man, of the judgment and the wrath of uh, who the world ignorantly calls God in your house shot, man. All right? The same way the righteous man today is warning uh, the people of the wrath of the uh, heavenly father, man. So let's... Uh, Go to Genesis 71. It says, And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou in all thy house, all thy house, all right, into the ark, into the ark. So Noah was, Noah was considered the righteous, and, and on, on the strength of Noah's righteousness, him and his house was able to be saved, man, from the destruction. The same way it's going to be uh, when the Lord, uh, uh, the Heavenly Father said, The Son of Man. Man. So it says, and, and the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou, and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. And in this generation, the Lord says he's going to have 144,000 righteous men that's going to be delivered in their house, man. All right, that's the reward, man. Okay, that's the reward that the righteous going to receive, man, for doing keeping the Lord's commandments, man. So uh, let's get 1 Peter 3.20. 1 Peter 3.20. First Peter, this is First Peter chapter three, and this is uh, verse twenty, and it says, "Which sometimes were disobedient, uh, were disobedient, and that's all those who uh, hated the light, uh, those who are condemned and uh, offended in this word, the non-believers, man, they're considered the disobedient when once." The long suffering of the power waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, while the ark was being prepared, wherein few, that is eight souls, eight souls, Noah in this house, man. Noah in this house. Uh, were saved by the waters, man. Were saved by the waters, by the flood, by the destruction, man. By the wrath, man, of the Lord, man. Okay? So it says the it says the light figure wherein to even baptism do have also now save us. Baptism. All right. Because this word is known as the water, man. All right. You have to be baptized with this word, man. All right. Not go get dumped in some water, man. You're going to come out of the water the same wicked uh, nigga that you was before you went in the water, man. All right. You have to be converted through what's written in this book, man. Follow the lamb whatsoever you go. Because that's what the heavenly father commanded us to do, man. To follow the lamb, not some uh, nigga with a Bible, man. That's uh, some sorcerer nigga with a Bible putting spells on you, man. All right, putting you in bondage, man. Putting heavy burdens on you niggas, man. Such as those guys over there at ISUPK, man. Those guys basically threaten those guys, man. All right? They threaten those guys basically with violence, man. If they don't follow their doctrine, man. All right? That's 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 what I get out of uh, what I saw on the video that the brother put up uh, uh Dealing with ISUPK, man. And there's many stories of those guys, uh, uh, those wicked-ass Israelites, even going back to what? Yahweh been Yahweh, man. He was cutting niggas' heads off, man. He was cutting niggas' heads off if you disagree with his doctrine. And, and, and a lot of these niggas would do the same thing if they could, man. All right? That's what they did back in the days to the prophets. All right? They the same wicked uh, scribes and Pharisees Yahweh Shai was getting on, man, who say that uh, basically... They the children of those who killed the prophets, man. So it said, which, which sometimes were disobedient, like uh, 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 these Christian, these Christian pastors, they disobedient 
And all you zombies that follow Christianity are considered disobedient. All right? Basically, it boils down to anybody who don't follow the Lamb according to what's written in the Bible. All right? So it says, when once the long suffering of the power waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being uh, prepared. I mean, that's the time we're in now, man. All right? That that woman is being prepared, man. That husband is 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 is, is uh is your how shy and the woman is the elect that's being prepared, man. All right. So it says we're in few that the eight souls, Noah, his his three sons, Noah wife, and his son's three wives. Basically, Noah house, all right. Eight souls were saved by the water. It says, verse 21. The light figure wearing too, even baptism do have also now save us. Save us. Not the putting, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but answer of the good conscience, of a good conscience towards the power. Towards the power. And only the uh uh the ones that's not condemned uh uh condemned by this word that's coming out the book gonna have a, a, a good conscience towards the heavenly father, man. Okay? That's the ones that have a good conscience. Towards the heavenly father, man. So it says, by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Through Yahweh Shai. Alright, which, which one of Yahweh Shai titles is the Ark of the Covenant, man. Uh, the Ark of the Covenant, Covenant symbolizes Yahweh Shai. That same Ark that Noah built, that saved Noah in, in his house, man. Alright? So let's get another precept. Stand Peter's. Let's go to 2 Peter's 2 and 5. Second Peter 2 and 5. So the same way when Noah was prophesied, uh, basically uh, warning, warning the people, and basically the same thing was going going on in Noah time is going on now, man. They being warned, all right, about the fire and the brimstone going to bring the de de destruction. The same way he was uh, warning them, telling them that the rain going to come from the sky. They thought he was crazy. He was out of his mind, man. All right? They thought he was out of his mind. Until the rain start falling from the sky, the same way uh, uh, the masses of you uh, people, you unbelievers, think brothers such as myself that follow the Lamb and keep the words that's written in the Bible is out of their minds. All right, until until that fire, that brimstone, took to the Lord start setting off those volcanoes, man. All right, so this is uh Second Peter, chapter two, and verse five. It says, "And spare not the old world, spare not the old world." But say Noah, the eight person, a preacher of righteousness. So what it means to be a preacher of right, righteousness. Let, let's get a, a precept. G give you an example of a preacher of righteousness. Go to the book of Jeremiah, which was a preacher of righteousness. Uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15. It says, and I will give you pastors. Pastors, that's what a preacher is, a pastor, according to my heart, which shall feed you with the, with knowledge and with understanding. All right? That knowledge and that understanding is the words out of the book, not with religion, not with Catholicism. All right? Not with uh, uh, lies, man. All right? Not with confusion, man, but with knowledge and wisdom that's in the scriptures. Remember in John 14, uh, the Lord himself said, if you love him, then you will keep his words, man. And the Lord's words is in the Bible, man. That's the only way you, where you're going to find the Lord's words at, in the Bible, man. All right? So that's the preachers of righteousness, man. All right? Those that's feeding the people with the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding of the scriptures, man. Just like Noah was doing when he was warning uh, uh, you wicked people, all right, to, 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 uh, that the Lord is coming to bring the destruction, man. But y'all thought he was crazy, man, until that day came and, and destroyed them all, man. All right, so it says, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you. All right, just shall feed you. Because remember the Lord say, uh, uh, he says, uh, labor for the meat that perishes not. That meat is this knowledge, man. So he says, shall feed you with knowledge, with the knowledge out of the Bible, and the understanding through the scriptures and the precepts, man. Okay, so let's go back. So it says, uh, a preacher of righteousness bringing in the flood upon the world of ungodly. Now, that world is the same world that's condemned by this word, man. That's not the world that the Lord loved that he sent Yahweh shot back. Remember, that's only referring to the believers only. So everybody outside that world, 
all right? They're considered uh, ungod, the world of ungodly, all right? And that's who the Lord coming back to destroy, man. Let's prove it. Let's read down to verse 9. So this is verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, and it was more than two cities, all right? It was five cities that 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 was destroyed by the fire and the brimstone. And remember, in the day of the, uh, the Lord sent back the Son of Man, uh, Yahweh Shai, he said he's going to destroy it in like manner, man, with that same brimstone, okay? So he says, in turn the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and the ashes, condemn them with the overflow, making them an example. So the Lord have many examples, all right? The Lord have made examples and recorded them, all right, through his righteous preachers, all right, his righteous preachers, and publishing it to the world, man, all right, as an example, all right? So everything that I preach and teach and um, bring out of these scriptures is basically an example unto those that should live ungodly, all right? So that's, that's the message of the Lord, man. That's why I do what I do, all right? I'm basically giving you an examples, man, all right? This is a message to the ungodly, man. That should, uh, uh, this is a message to those that should live ungodly. So it says, and delivered the just lot. And mainly this is uh, uh, what it boils down to because these are the only people going to get it, the elect. That what lot represent the elect, man. All right? And deliver a uh, uh, lot. All right? He didn't deliver uh, nobody else out of that uh, those five cities but lot. All right? Why did he deliver lot? He says, and delivered lot. He said, and delivered just lot. Just lot. I mean, he was a just man. He was a righteous man. Vexed with the filthy conversation. Vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. All right? Meaning what? Those who's, who's living ungodly, man. Okay? So it says, for the righteous man, the righteous man, men such as Noah, men such as Lot, all right? Men such as myself, those who follow the Lamb to keep the Lord's words. All right? So it says, for the righteous man, Dwelling among them in sin and hearing vex his righteous soul to, from day from day to day with their unlawful deeds. All right. So basically, a uh, lot being a just man. All right, he was vexed. All right, by the wickedness of of, of the conversation of the, of the of these people daily, man. The same way righteous men today is vexed, man, of what they see going on on earth, man. All right, and that's why the Lord is angry because the righteous the righteous man. Basically, in the spirit of the Lord, man. The Lord angry. The Lord angry. That's why he's sending his son with destruction. He's not sending them back with lollipops. He's not sending them back with popsicles. He's not sending them back to uh, hold hands with you people. He's sending him back with a sword to bring destruction, man. So this is verse 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly. All right? So that's the purpose of Yahweh shot. All right? He's coming back to deliver the godly, man. All right? The godly. Not the uh, not the filth the uh, the ones uh who they refer to, uh, lot lot being vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. All right, not the ones who committed unlawful deeds. All right, but to deliver the godly out of the temptation and to reserve the unjust into the day of judgment and to punishment. All right, so just because you're not getting judged today. All right, just because you're not getting judged today, you're being reserved by the Heavenly Father for that day of judgment. Let me, let me read that again. Verse 9, this is 2 Peter 2 and 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly. And that's what the righteous men are, are basically expecting, all right, to be delivered by the Heavenly Father. All right. It says, out of temptation and, and reserve, and to reserve, I hope y'all hearing this very clear. It says, and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to punishment. So just because you're not being judged uh, expediently or for your wickedness, man, you're going to be judged, man. And that day of judgment, you can push it off all you want, man. But the Lord says he's coming back as a thief in the night. And the righteous is hasting on that day, man. That's the day that the righteous is hasting on, man. The day of judgment, man. So we can be delivered and, and the Lord can bring the judgment upon the, uh, the unjust. So... Basically, that's the point on that, man. I want to go into this, uh, this.